Okay, we're going to look at um, how to create nets in Tinkercad. Okay, so we're going to look at how to create nets in Tinkercad. So here is our, our program Tinkercad, and um, we're moving within it. As you can see, you have some blocks here on the side. I'm just going to quickly show you how to build a net. And the net is um, taking a 3D object like this cube here. Okay. And you know, in Tinkercad, I can tilt it to get a different view. Um, it'll actually give me the height. I can select in here and change the height. Here's my depth. Here's my width. I have all these values. I know this is a cube because it's 20 by 20 by 20. So let's say I needed to make a net of that in Tinkercad. Okay. Well, what I can do is I can just take that exact same box again, okay? And I realize that that is supposed to be the idea of a two-dimensional shape. We can make this object look two-dimensional. We're gonna take the height, and I'm gonna put in zero, and it should take me to the smallest possible height. Here we go. So we have our, our smallest possible height, and I'm gonna zoom in on it, okay? And now what this looks like a net, okay? This looks like one of the faces of the cube. Um, I can then, duplicate this object, okay, and let's say I'm going to make a cube, there we go, I have my three, so I have my top, my side, my side, and I can even have one more, perfect, let's duplicate this one, we can have the front, we can have the back, put together, and we can even have the bottom, and these are some good descriptions. There's the bottom, the front, the top. You see this cube I'm moving here. I purposely did it. There's the right, the left, and the back. So we should have a total of uh, six sides here. Let me get rid of shape. There we go. We get our six sides. Well, let's take a look. Oh, and we got to snap that one in very well. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have too many. Now that I realized the wrong duplicated twice. There we go. We have our net of our cube. Great, so that worked out nice. So all we need to do in these cases is we take a three-dimensional prism of the face and this change the height to essentially zero. What would that look like with a cylinder? Okay, well a cylinder, being a little bit different than a cube, um, let's move around the page here a bit, turn it, and let's zoom out, okay. Um, we know that we have a circle and our height is 20. My, here we go, looks like my diameter, I might have to change my view just a little here to get an idea. It looks like the diameter is 20 of this circle. Great, okay. So we know with that net, I'm gonna copy the exact same cylinder, same concept as before, I'm gonna change the height of this to zero, and for all intents and purposes, it almost makes a two-dimensional figure of it. Um, I'm going to have to duplicate that, Control D or Command D, depending on what operating system you're using. There we go. So I have the top and the bottom. Uh, and the cylinder, the middle of it, is actually a rectangle. Okay, so I can take a prism here on the side. Now, you can look down for, and there's lots of different shapes, but the best one to kind of start with is a cube, and we can just elongate it to make it a prism. Uh, we can change the color to be that orange. There we go. That's the orange we are working with earlier. Zoom out a bit. Talk about the height again. I want to make it zero. There we go. Um, now, the only difficult part here is we have to know a little bit of math. If the diameter is, what did we say it was? It's 20. So the diameter is 20. So we need to figure out the circumference of this circle. So we're actually going to have to um, do a little bit of math here. I'm going to come and bring up a math page. Do, 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 do. Scientific graphing calculator. Okay, I love my title, I still stayed. I'm gonna, oops, that's the wrong one. I wanted the scientific graph. Is it graphing calculator? Ah, it's the scientific calculator. That's the one I want. I'm gonna clear this page quickly. Apologize for that. Okay, so if our diameter, like we said in Tinkerdad, was, we say it was 20, great. That means the radius must be 10. Um, and actually the diameter works perfect for circumference because it is diameter times pi. So 10 multiplied by, and let's see if I can get, you see pi is an option, there it is, times pi. And there we go, your answer is 31.41. So let's go back to Tinkercad 
that is the long part of our rectangle here. It's going to be 31. There it is. 31.41. I think that's what it said. 4159. We can keep going. 59. I assume that's going to be as, well as close as we get. Great. Um, the other thing is we need to know the height of this cylinder. The height is 20, so that means our width here, which is 20, perfect. So there is our net. We'll put our shapes together. So we've made the net of the cube and the net of the cylinder. Again, all we do is take a three-dimensional object and we make it look two-dimensional in Tinkercad. It isn't technically. It's just a very, very, very short three-dimensional object. Okay? Hopefully that was helpful.